everyone, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode on the Hermitcraft Season 5 server. Now guys, if you notice a bit of a difference in the audio slash voice audio quality, I apologise slash I am excited because I am actually in my new house right now. This is actually the first ever video I am recording inside of the new house and uh, yeah I'm pretty damn excited I'm using probably the most ghetto ass setup I have ever used in the entire world guys but uh, it's only going to be for a very short amount of time until the office is properly ready for me to move into we just need to put a carpet in there so we can like you know absorb sounds a bit better and uh, yeah everything's looking good but guys today's fan art comes from a user by the name of Ben Belcher or at Benny B Belcher on Twitter and he decided for some strange reason to sketch out my Minecraft creeper face almost in the form of a ghast. The, the little sort of black splodges beneath it kind of look like ghast tentacles and apparently beneath it is a, is a bit of a sketch drawing of me which is which is pretty cool so Ben I really do appreciate it thank you so much. Now guys I'm not gonna lie there's probably gonna be a decent amount of jump cuts in today's video because uh yeah, uh, I'm in a very uncomfortable sitting position and I'm probably going to have to keep switching my sitting position every now and again. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. But uh, I wanted to try and get a video out for you guys. I wanted to try and get a Hermitcraft episode because I know it has been a little bit of time now since the last episode. And uh, I want to go ahead and work on a brand new house, my friends. I would like to work on a house. And as you can see, this is the place of which it is going to go. And I'd like to make it into sort of my main house for this island. You know, it's going to have the whole works. It's going to have an enchanting setup a little storage room amongst a whole bunch of other things and just in general the theme of it is gonna work quite nicely into the theme of the island so you know the whole beach resort kind of thing the little you know I, don't know, I think I think it'd be kind of cool my friends so let's go and get some materials and we'll make a start all right guys so we're gonna begin with the framework slash supports of this house and what we are going to do is we're gonna make ourselves a whole bunch of three and a half block tall uh, acacia pillars with acacia slabs on top so let's go ahead and make a bit of a start on that now in terms of the theme of this house as I was mentioned before it's gonna be kind of like a beach house but it's gonna be kind of like a modern beach house if you guys have ever watched my single player Minecraft survival let's play you will of course know that I have been doing a bunch of modern buildings uh, recently and well I kind of wanted to try to introduce the modern style build into this one here so despite the fact we're using wood and stuff that you wouldn't typically see in a modern build I thought it'd be kind of cool to try and uh, challenge myself to, to make it work so yes and I should probably clarify as well yes I have indeed already built this uh, thing in a creative test world and it's looking rather fantastic on it as well but obviously I'm not going to show you that because otherwise that would be like massive hashtag spoilers and stuff and that would kind of suck and you wouldn't have a reason to watch the episode so yes anyways uh, let's go ahead and place that down there and uh, let's place uh, this uh, down here there we go so those are the supports okay and basically how it's going to work is we're going to have an elevated entrance there's going to be a stairway going into the entrance this place back here is going to be a sort of back garden and it's going to have like a little sort of jungle slash uh you know the the whole oh, what are these things called tropical trees palm trees that's what i'm on about yeah there we go we got there eventually my friends so uh yeah anyways i digress next of all what we're gonna do is we are going to do a little bit of this we're gonna start making a bunch of random platforms around the place we're gonna put these out here to add a little bit of depth to the build we're gonna bring it around town so around here real quick my friends uh, we're gonna have to do something with those fences. I'm not entirely sure what exactly I'm going to do just yet, but that is something we'll have to experiment with in the future. But in the meantime, I can go ahead and continue doing this. So uh, let's go ahead and put, uh, let's go ahead and use some blocks here, or maybe I could just do this because, you know, I'm kind of lazy. <laughs> uh, boom, boom, boom. I mean, come on, they're half slabs. You can make half slabs into full blocks. So maybe it's not laziness, it's me being resourceful. I mean, um, well, it kind of is lazy because I have a case of uh, logs. I could just make some. <laughs> oh, dear. Anyways, let's continue on. So we're going to head around here. Let's put that there. I'm going to put this over here. We're going to put this here and a little bit of that there. So once again, trying to add a little bit of depth to the pillars, to the foundations, because I think that will look really, really cool. So let's continue. Let's get these bits in here rather like 
that. Okay, and uh, let's do that. Let us do that. And we're going to need ourselves some more stairs real quick. So let's just pop over here. Uh, let's just make... Uh, how many? 30? 30 blocks worth, which is going to be 20 stairs. Hmm, not a bad amount. Alright, uh, you can go there, you can... Oh, hang on, that's not right. Let's get rid of you, let's place you in, let's place you in, and finally, you. Okay, so, now, we're going to start building the staircase into the eventual entrance, so it's going to be one there, there's going to be a level there, and there's also going to be a level uh, just here. Rather like this. Okay, very, very nice. Okay, so all we got to do now is I'm going to do a little bit of that, a little bit of that. Uh, in fact, this is just going to be the entrance in general. We're going to place down some sandstone. Uh, I want to make some sandstone slabs so I can make some chiseled, you know, that, that special sandstone whereby, you know, it's got like a creeper face in it because, I mean, come on, man. I'm, I'm a creeper, man. I'm a creeper. Look at me. Look at me. I'm a creeper. So it makes sense that I have creepers in the wall. Huh? Huh? That's kind of cool, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of cool. <laughs> Uh, there you go. So next we're actually going to start making the build itself and also sort of the underside of it because, you know, I think it'd be a good idea to do so. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of this. We're going to basically go all around once again just making a bunch of pillars because I think that will work quite nicely. So let's get uh, one in here. Uh, we'll go over here, do exactly the same. And one over here. And I think it's one here and then one over here as well. I could be mistaken though. Right, let's just have a quick look. Okay, so that's looking good. So what we need to do now is we need to start placing in some of the underside fences. Do I have any... Oh, I've got some acacia fences. Okay, pretty cool. So we're going to put some fences under there and we're going to start decorating it with some dead bushes. So, you know, I think that would look kind of cool. Right, and also what we're going to do in addition to that is place down some leaves like this to add a little bit of greenery to the build because, as you guys know, greenery adds a lot of things to a build, doesn't it? So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, let's go and do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. There we go. And um, we're pretty much going to go all around and do pretty much the same thing. So, uh, in this case, around the sides, I think we're going to do this, 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 and this. Uh, that is, that is not correct. Hmm. Okay, well, maybe I can just do that instead. Huh, fair enough. Okay, cool. Right, okay, so let's continue on, my friends. I'll bring you guys back with a progress update once this step is finished. All right, guys, so time to do the back section. Sla oh, hang on. Ah, the rain has stopped. Oh, my God. Ah, not unlike the blooming weather in the UK at the moment. Jeez, man. <laughs> oh, the amount of rain we get here is simply, is simply unbelievable, man. It really is. <laughs> oh dear. But anyways, guys, like I said, we're going to go ahead and work a little bit on the back section here. So uh, this place right here is going to be the location of which the uh, little palm tree is going to reside. We're going to put the log on top of here. Then we're going to have all the leaves dangling down and all that kind of stuff. So uh, in the meantime, let's go ahead and let's do a little something right here. I kind of want to make this go down a little bit because that's how it goes in the design. Okay, so let's bring this down rather like that cool and then basically what's going to happen is uh, as well as having the elevated you know the, the ground floor in air quotes we're going to have ourselves like a, a, a basement kind of thing as well because you know you know space utilization and all that be kind of cool to try and get a little something going here so this level down here where i am right now which i'm digging out this is going to be the basement and yeah, there's going to be some things going on in here. For example, in the design, I managed to squeeze in an enchanting setup down uh, in this little space here, which I thought was really, really cool. Honestly, guys, once this place is finished, I think you guys will really, really like it. So, you know, stick around. You might learn a thing or two. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, dear. Right, so let's get you placed in there. If I know, all this can come down as well, right? Well, there, uh, of course. Oh, hello, Iron. How are you doing now, man? <laughs> Nice to see you. Nice to see you. So, yes, right. And also in the design, we had a staircase which started to go up, I think, here. It goes up like that. Oh, hang on. Nope, not like that. <laughs> goes up the corner and then rather like that. And then the slabs sort of continue like this and will eventually join onto that. You see? You see? It's all starting to come together, is it not, my friends? So if we get down here, yep, as you can see, hey, we got a basement. We could do a bunch of stuff. <laughs> Sweet. And not only that, if we just head back down there, we can actually see outside because of these little sort of fence windows. Huh? Yeah, you like that? I think that's kind of cool. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, I'm 
liking it. Alright guys, so how about a little progress update from the Pythonator, huh? So as you can see, our little beach house resort house thing, uh, yeah, it's a thing. Yes, yes, it is looking pretty good, isn't it? As you can see, I've built it up a little bit more. We've got the floor pretty much sorted out now. If we head out to the backyard, we've got this place sorted as well. So in terms of, uh, well, this is how it was supposed to be. We are using some path blocks as sort of the, the rear garden sort of surface because I feel like the grass is a little bit too green, a little bit too extreme. I mean, it's kind of like a desert slash beach kingdom kind of thing. So, you know, you're not really expecting much lush green stuff, right? But uh, one thing I will put that is green is, uh, is some cacti and some flower pots because, you know, flower pots are always nice, aren't they? Huh? Yeah, looks kind of cool, doesn't it, guys? So, let's go ahead and make a little bit of a start on some windows. And I'm using red stained glass because I thought it would be kind of nice to do so as a little bit of, little bit of a change, shall we say. It's not very often I use a coloured stained glass. Well, I'll say that, actually. It, uh... Yeah, it's probably more often than I, you know, tend to think it is actually. Uh, so let's go and do a little bit of this. But I'm thinking of like the more Larry colours, like red. I mean, it's not very often you use red stained glass for things, is it? I mean, I mean, maybe Tango does because you know he's got a an evil base, you know, an evil base. But uh, my, my my base isn't so evil. It's a, it's a bit more inviting. It's like, oh hey. Oh, I see you're a weary traveller. Please, please do stop by and have yourself a little bit of a cup of tea and some scones, you know? You know? That's kind of cool. <laughs> oh, dear. Anyways, in the meantime, I'm just in the process of uh, trying to get something going here. So if we, like, try and connect all of these windows together. Uh, so let's go over this way real quick. Uh, let's get you placed in, you placed in, you placed in and you as well and here's what's going to happen here i think we could maybe put a little something in there which will look kind of nice but in the meantime i'm going to put that there put that there i'm going to rid this thing here hmm maybe some sandstone stairs i can give it a little bit of depth i mean when in doubt depth will work right in in minecraft builds th does that not work hmm let's have a look at this hmm i don't know I don't know. Maybe. Oh, I just had a brilliant idea, actually. Maybe what I could do instead... Oh, dang it. I dug out something I wasn't meant to. Maybe what I could do instead is have a couple of chests here. Uh, this block... Uh, it is visible on the ground, but I think I may be able to rectify that real quick. I'm going to put two chests on top of each other and then put the stair upside down like that, right? And then we can still have the, the, the pane on top of it, right? Yeah, but then again, we probably won't need a pane now. Okay, well in which case, what if I go and do that? You know, bring it down a block. I think that'll work quite nicely. Yeah, okay, cool. And then you can go in there, you can go in there. We don't need these slabs. In fact, to be honest, I don't think we need this at all. We could probably get rid of this and then just continue using smooth sandstone rather like this. Yeah, there we go. So, yep, this is the little entrance area again. So let's go ahead and uh, put a little something something in there. Maybe we can put ourselves a chiseled sandstone block just at the top here. Again, there's a little bit of decoration, a little bit of an accent, if you will. And talking of accents, maybe we could start mixing in some of the other sandstone. Hmm? I mean, it does look like a little bit of a mess, but it's kind of like an organized mess, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, doorway here, doorway here, go to the backyard, and then we've got our stairs going down to the basement, and things are looking really, really good, my friends. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and construct the palm tree next, and then try to get some sort of roof going. I'll show you the exact roof design I'll be doing uh, once we get to that point, but before then, like I say, I just want to go ahead and get the palm trees done. So, yeah, give me a sec, I'll get that done. Alrighty guys, it's taken a fair amount of resources, it has to be said, but the roof is pretty much there. All I need to do now is place in the actual roof itself. I mean, <laughs> kind of a contradictory sentence, isn't it? But what I mean is I need to place in this part here, rather like this. And obviously the reason I'm using uh, sandstone slabs is the fact that mobs won't be able to spawn on this, and therefore things will be okay and good to go in terms of safety. Although some lights probably would be a good idea on the top, because I think there will still be some blocks on which the mobs will be able to spawn, I think. So, yeah. In the meantime, as you can see, things are looking pretty good in here, as you can see. Very, very nice. Uh, so, maybe we 
make a little bit of a start on trying to get some furniture in here. Maybe I can place that down. Uh, we can get ourselves uh, some chests, as I was mentioning before. So let's go and get one in there. And as you can see, we can obviously still access it because there's a stair on top of it. And it looks pretty cool. Yeah, buddy. Right. <laughs> in the meantime, let's get this shulker box out. We're going to grab ourselves out a couple flower pots rather like this. And we're going to place couple there with some dead shrubbery on top eh, yeah why not cool all right and then let's follow that up with a door so we got all of this uh, all of this acacia wood here which is awesome so let's go ahead and make some into doors rather like that okay we'll start placing these bad boys down one there and then one for the backyard right there very very nice look at the amount of headroom there is in this place as well by the way look there's so much so much room, man. I'm being really careless with my sword. I could poke someone's eye out with that thing, man. I should really not be so careless, huh? <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway, so let's go ahead and work on the roof design. So I was mentioning that, uh, you know, I was doing some sort of modern sort of design. So for those of you guys, again, who have been watching my single-play Minecraft Survival Series, you're going to know what kind of design I'm going to be going for in that uh, we've got ourselves, like, two layers of slabs rather like this, and we're going to sort of circle the entire building with it. So... Yeah, I think it's going to look really, really cool. It'd be nice if I could get up on the roof, actually. I think it'd be a lot easier. So, here we go. We're going to give it a go, my friends. Can we... Or can... Oh, if I can get off the ground, that is. Oh, fantastic. Oh, the lag is so real compared to single player. Anyway, so let's get over here. Whee! Get that landing inbound, boys. All right, and all we're going to do is go around the entire building doing this. So, yeah, I think it will look really, really cool once it's finished, my friends. I really, really do. So, I hope you guys are enjoying this build as well. You know, it's not often I do building episodes, but as I said, I've got a really, like, ghetto-ass setup, so I don't really have, you know, the, the resources to really do, like, a, a full-featured normal episode, if you will. So, hopefully you guys are okay with this. Uh, it's only temporary that I'm going to be doing episodes like this so yeah i mean let me know you know it might be nice to do more episodes like this in future where i'm sort of bringing you guys along for the ride in terms of you know getting the building done all that kind of stuff uh, you know let me know in the comments area or, or let me know with a like rating hey hey wells hey wells how you doing man hopefully you're all good there buddy i just moved house and i'm in a super ghetto ass setup <laughs> oh man <laughs> I've probably put a picture of the really ghetto setup on Twitter by now, but, but, you know, if not, then I'll try, if I can remember, to put it on screen for you guys. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, do we think, what are we thinking here? What are we thinking here? I'm almost thinking of getting rid of the leaves in favour of continuing the design. Right? Would that work? Would that still work? Would it still look like a palm tree? I think it still looks like a palm tree. Huh. Okay. And then we got ourselves some little chairs here so we can look out upon our dominion and we can see the Penta Beacon base over there, the Grand Underground base. And if we go inside here, oh boy, there's lots of stuff going on, my friend. It's going to be awesome. Oh, man. So I could maybe smooth out the ceiling by doing that. Uh, but then again, as you can see, there would be a bit of a clash of textures, right? Because this is smooth on the underside, and then this is rough on the underside. So, maybe, maybe I don't do that. Maybe instead, I could, like, maybe place down another layer of slabs? What do you think? What do you guys think? Hmm? I don't, I don't know. I think this could potentially work. We're going to need some more slabs, though. Yeah. Okay, I didn't want it to be too tall, if you get what I mean. I don't know, though. I kind of like this. Okay, so let's have a look at the actual build now. So let's have a look at the, you know, the, the somewhat finished product. Yeah, look at that! That's looking really cool, isn't it? I really like the combination of the, of the acacia wood and the sandstone. I think it works really well. I was considering using red sandstone alongside the regular sandstone, but honestly, I think the acacia wood actually works better. Cool. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and uh, place in some dead bushes for some uh, for some decoration, if you will. We'll put one there. We'll put maybe a couple back here. Uh, we'll put one in here, one in here, uh, and then that one's already done. So, yeah. Mate. Look at this build, man. It's super cool, isn't it? 
Alrighty, so I think the next thing we're going to do is work on the interior. So, let's go ahead and start getting some things together, and we'll work on the interior to finish off the episode, friends. Alright guys, so the time has come to get the interior of this place done. So, let's head inside. We definitely need some sort of lighting solution. Uh, I'm thinking... Maybe is a little bit of a thing we could do. Uh, oh. Hmm. That's not going to work because uh, glowstone does not connect to uh, fence. Uh, sorry, glass panes even. No, that kind of sucks actually. I wouldn't have minded being able to do that. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, everything, you know, you can't have everything. You know what I'm saying? So let's go and put that down there instead. Let's have a look at the light levels. Yeah, we definitely need something around here as well. Uh, although, what I'm... Eh, can we do that? Yeah, that actually works. We can still open the chests, of course. Yeah, everything looks good. Okay, once again, checking out the light levels. It is at 7 in this corner. Uh, could we potentially do something here? Uh, maybe we could put... Nah, I'm not entirely sure, actually. Need to come up with some sort of lighting solution for these corners, because it's going to be the same over here as well, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. There's a 7 here. What if I... Oh, okay, I can. I could just put that in the corner there, like that. Huh, fair enough. <laughs> well, I'll do the job. Alright, fantastic. Anyway, so let's head down here, because we're going to go ahead and start placing in the enchanting setup. So, let's get you in like that. And then we could probably get some things in rather like this. So, that is 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, 10, 11, 12, uh, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah. That's the, yeah, that works. And then maybe actually at the back, what we could do instead is uh, place down an anvil in this space right here. Yeah, now that sounds like a cool idea, doesn't it? <laughs> Sweet. Okay, and we need to definitely do something with the ceiling of the basement as well. So let's maybe just grab out some of the acacia stuffs again. Uh, have I got some more acacia? Yes, I do. Okay, fantastic. Right, let's go ahead and uh, make some more stairs. And we will continue on with the underside of this thing. So let's just head down here. We're going to place these in rather like that. And then we're going to uh, sort of line the slabs in the ceiling. Yeah, looking good. Looking good. Okay. Uh, yeah, that could probably stay as it is. That looks pretty decent, actually. Maybe I could put some panes in there as well, so it's almost as if it's its own little room kind of thing. So if I just grab a couple of these bad boys out, well, apparently a whole... Oh, and chucking them around. <laughs> oh, my God. The ghetto setup is, is making me fail like a noob. Oh, dear, oh, dear. But, uh, yeah, we're going to want to put an anvil back there, and, yeah, we can get ourselves a level 30 standard end chance from this because we have uh, three loads of five, and you need 15 bookshelves in order to get level 30. 30, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so in the meantime, we can maybe try and figure out what we can do with the rest of this place here. So I'm thinking maybe we could put an ender chest here and then a couple of double chests either side like that. Maybe? Eh, nah, I'm thinking maybe put some decoration in this corner actually and then having the storage rather like that. So if I was to grab out these, place them in there, and then if we grab out... Uh, our decorative shulker box, so yeah, get some of those out. I am very, very glad, by the way, guys, I'm very glad at this point that uh, I went ahead and organised everything into shulker boxes. I can't tell you how much of a relief it is that I don't have to use my elytra to get back to base, get stuff out, you do all that kind of stuff, and then figure out that you've forgotten something, so you have to go back again. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's a heck of a relief. Ah, I can't do that. Damn it. Ah oh, man, I was wanting to put a bit of glowstone there. Uh, if I put glowstone under there, will the light shine through? Should we give that a go real quick? Boom. Yeah, it does. The light shines through the ender chest. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, and... Yep, it's looking a little bit dark around here, so maybe we could put some glowstone bits in the corners. Uh, well, actually, I'm thinking maybe in these corners rather like this. Yeah, I think that'll work quite nicely. Okay, cool. So, yeah, we're really starting to get somewhere with this build, my friends. Like, we've got a mini storage area with a lookout point. We've got ourselves an enchanting area. And we can probably just have some, you know, more generic storage areas just sort of all over the place as well. Maybe in this area here, we can have ourselves a little bit of a sort of furnace array kind of thing. Like, that could be, like, the entrance to the furnace array. And then, once again, in the corners, we can have ourselves some more, sort of, uh, you know, potted plants. Because, you know, it makes sense, doesn't it? To just 
add a little bit to the build because it just makes it look good, doesn't it? So let's grab these, place them in there, and bada bing bada boom, we're looking good. Little furnace array. Oh, this is looking so cool, it really is. <laughs> we haven't even started on the upstairs bit yet, man. Hmm. Okay, right, I think just to finish up, I think we'll go ahead and uh, just place some generic storage chests sort of in uh, in random places here. So let's maybe put one there. Uh, we could... Uh, what should we do with this one? We could probably keep that there, actually. And then probably put, like, another little flower there. Or, well, I say flower. <laughs> That's funny. It's not a flower at all, is it? <laughs> flower pot. More like a dead shrub pot. That's what it is. There we go. So you can go in there. And then you can go down there. Sweet. And there we have it, my friends. I would, I would almost say that this is, you know, done. Except for the fact that we don't have... Uh, do we have enough iron to make an anvil? Oh, no, we don't. We can smelt some up. Uh, I don't even know if I've got any coal, though. Ah, oh, dang it. Well, that's a, that's a bit of a bummer. But, uh, yeah, guys, I think... I mean, you get the general gist of what I'm doing here. We're, we're doing pretty well here. We've got this basement going. I think we'll go ahead and uh, do this bit off camera, my friends, because unfortunately, I am actually out of time to record today's episode, my friends. So I'm going to have to end it here. But as always, we're going to end it with the comment question of the video, which comes from Seth Sniper 30 Hey, Python, are you planning on ever recording on a public server so fans can play with you? Love your videos, mate. Keep up the great work. I appreciate the kind words, Seth Sniper. I really do. Thank you very much for that. Uh, Unfortunately, I don't really play on uh, public servers and I don't really plan on doing so uh, Mostly because of the fact that I don't really have time to and also uh, I, I don't really have that much of an interest on playing on the uh, public servers I say public servers, uh, you know as a sort of general entity So like mini game servers like Minecraft mini games. They really don't interest me at all Like I know there's certain channels out there that just do Minecraft mini games for their entire life, but for me, I'm more about the survival and adventure aspect of Minecraft. So, uh, sadly, Steph Sniper, to answer your question, uh, it's it's very likely that I won't be doing that kind of stuff in future. I mean, maybe if there's like a one-off cool game I can do with the Hermits, then yeah. But aside from that, I probably won't be doing that. So, yeah, I want to sort of stick to the things that I'm interested in, really. Uh, so, hopefully that is okay. But guys, anyways, I want to end it there. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this episode, despite my super ghetto-ass setup and probably really bad audio quality i would much appreciate it if you guys would drop a like rating it really does help out myself the video and the channel out very much and i'd uh, and i'd appreciate it nonetheless but guys thank you very much for watching really appreciate your continued support very much so and i'll see you guys in the next episode